NCAA's proposal to compensate athletes could impact smaller schools negatively. The National Collegiate Athletic Association NCAA has recently put forth a proposal regarding athlete compensation that could potentially have far-reaching consequences, particularly for smaller schools. This proposal, suggested by NCAA President Charlie Baker, involves the creation of a new Division I subdivision, which could significantly impact schools and athletes across all sports. On a Tuesday evening, fans of Florida Atlantic University made the journey from their comfortable surroundings in Boca Raton to New York City, eagerly decked out in their red sweatshirts and t-shirts. Their purpose was to show support for the Owls during the Jimmy V basketball game. However, underlying this festive atmosphere is a larger issue that threatens to disrupt the landscape of college athletics. The proposed new Division I subdivision by NCAA President Charlie Baker has been met with both intrigue and concern. While some athletes in larger schools may benefit from the potential compensation plan, including increased financial support and various perks, smaller schools face the harsh reality of potentially being left behind. The proposed changes would likely exacerbate existing disparities between larger, more prominent universities and smaller, less financially endowed institutions. This could create even greater challenges for the latter in recruiting talented athletes, who may be enticed by the prospect of greater compensation offered at larger schools. Furthermore, the potential impact on sports other than football and basketball should not be underestimated. While these two sports often dominate the conversation around athlete compensation, the proposed changes could affect student athletes across a myriad of disciplines, including niche sports that may already struggle for recognition and resources. It is crucial to consider the potential consequences of such sweeping changes. While it is important to address the issue of athlete compensation, it is equally necessary to find a solution that does not further marginalize smaller institutions. Striking a balance between supporting athletes and ensuring fair opportunities for all schools should be at the forefront of any proposal. As the debate surrounding NCAA athlete compensation continues to evolve, the voice of smaller schools must be taken into account. It is imperative to find an equitable solution that preserves the integrity of college athletics as a whole, while simultaneously addressing the concerns and needs of all parties involved.